Hi everyone, I'm Wise Dietitian Taylor. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. This month we've been talking about smoothies, and so today we are going to make a balanced blueberry smoothie. And so this recipe is going to use blueberries, which are in season right now. Um, shopping seasonal produce is a great way to shop savvy for your budget, but also some seasonal produce may offer additional nutrition. So for this, this recipe, there's going to be two variations of this smoothie, and you can find the recipe link below this video. It actually comes from the Blueberry Council. And I'm going to talk through each variation. Um, one uses protein powder and one does not. So we'll go ahead and just get started here. So I have one cup of blueberries. And so I am using frozen blueberries. You could also use fresh. And I like to, um, I, I usually purchase fresh blueberries, use them um, until they're about to expire, and then I will actually just freeze them. So you can do that, or you again, you can just buy pre-frozen um, for smoothie making. Next, I'm going to add half of a frozen banana. So as we've been, so as we have been talking about smoothies, I mentioned that I always use a frozen banana um, because it adds a nice um, thick texture, but it also contributes to the temperature of the smoothie, um, which is, an, a, is also an incentive to use frozen blueberries because that will also make the smoothie nice and cold. Um, next, I'm going to add in our tablespoon of peanut butter. So um, the other variation of the smoothie uses two tablespoons. I'm using one. Um, it uses two tablespoons of protein in um, place of our next ingredient. So I'm using some vegan protein um, powder. So this is a pea protein powder. You can use whatever your favorite protein powder is. We've been talking about how smoothies are a great way to get some nutrition into your child while maybe their appetite isn't great. Um, so using protein powder is a great way to ensure that they are getting the, the protein that they need. Um, but you can also, again, if you don't have protein powder, that's totally fine. You can make this, again, by adding another tablespoon of peanut butter and leaving out the protein powder. Another uh, ingredient from this recipe that you'll, you'll get some protein from is the chia seeds that are in here. So you can always add more chia seeds too to beef up the protein if you want to. Um, so this is just a teaspoon of chia seeds. Um, and again, that's what it's called for in the recipe, but you can definitely use a tablespoon in here if you wanted to, um, either way is fine. Uh, next, I'm going to add in some greens. So we're just going to boost the nutrition a little bit by adding in some um, baby spinach. And so the recipe calls for two cups of ba uh, baby spinach. So I'm going to just add in about two handfuls. You can add more or less um, to taste. Now, if you're new to adding greens to your smoothie and you want to uh, just kind of try it out first, you could cut back on, on the greens a little bit. And our last ingredient here is a cup of coconut milk. So coconut milk is just a fun ingredient to add flavor to the smoothie. It really doesn't contribute much protein-wise. Um, about a gram or, or less per, per serving of coconut milk. So if you are opting to not use the um, protein powder, you could also switch out the milk for either dairy or soy. Both of those add additional protein. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my lid on my blender here. And so this is a single serving of the smoothie. Um, it's more of a meal um, size smoothie, uh, but it's going to get loud in here for a second. So just bear with me. I think that this looks good. Um, and so, you know, keep in mind that you can make the consistency, um, whatever your preference is. So if you prefer to have a smoothie that is um, more thick or more thin, you can adjust the um, one cup of milk that you add to this. So again, it is a pretty large smoothie. There's still a little bit in there. Um, but yeah, so just like that, you have a meal um, style smoothie. So it came together pretty quickly. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this recipe video today and I hope that it gave you some smoothie inspiration. Stay tuned for our last smoothie video next week. And until then, 